welcome back to my channel if you're new thank you for joining me and welcome so this is part two of my tbr and this is going to be my kindle reads and any audio that i'm going to be listening to so we're going to head straight into it now the first one that i'm actually going to be reading on my kindle but i do have the physical book is actual age eve brown now i'm currently reading this at the moment this is the third book in the Brown Sisters um, trilogy. You don't have to read them in order, but it helps because there are family links in all the books. So um, in this one, um, this is about Eve and Jacob. And again, there's going to be romance. Um, apparently Eve is a hot mess and Jacob is a perfectionist. So that's all I know about this one at the moment. Apart from I feel sure it's going to be fantastic. If, you're, if you don't know, this is by Talia Hibbert. And the other two books that come before this are fantastic. I've, I've given them both five stars. Love them and I can't wait to get through this one. I've only just started it. But this is one of my um, anticipated reads of the year. So that's the first one. And actually, I did miss this off my last one because um, it's only just come through. So this is one I ordered for myself from Waterstones, which is a new one, which is the Auschwitz, um, the Auschwitz photographer. Now, this is based on a true story, and this is based on the story of William Brace, who was the Auschwitz photographer. So there are photographs through this and there's his own personal experience of what he witnessed and what he saw. Um, and William Brace also helped to condemn and convict the Nazis at the trials. So it's going to be a hard book to read, but I think very important that we keep this kind of um, subject fresh in our minds and we don't let generations below us and above us, I suppose, forget what, what actually happened so that's that one now we will get into the proper kindle reads so the next one which i will put the picture up is uh the girl i've been sorry i have some i have some notes on my kindle so it's the the girls i've been and it's by tess sharp now this is uh kind of a wrong place wrong time ya um so there's crime in it, there's cheating, there's a hostage situation. Um, that's all I know about that one. The cover looks fantastic, I hope you agree. So yeah, this is a YA. This is another one I'm reading. This is another one that I actually got from a recommendation. Um, so fingers crossed on that one. The next one is The Thirteenth Tale. And this is by Diane Setterfield. Now, this is, is coming across as a gothic fantasy, so kind of dark. Um, it's to do with the character Vida Winters, who is an author in the book, and something to do with the stories that she writes, and something to do with tragic things that happened in her past that she has tried to keep a secret. So I'm not sure how they all link. But it sounds interesting. Um, so fingers crossed on that one. The next one is A Sky Full of Stars. And this is by Danny Atkins. Now this is uh, the characters in this. The main ones are Alex and Lisa. And there is a tragedy that happens that Lisa passes away. And to make it even more tragic, if you could get there, they had finally found their happiness you know they had the house the family the children they had everything and then a tragic event happened and Lisa passed away now this is um, about a group of people that come together through a tragic event and so this is classed as a romance so hopefully it won't all be sad um, and we we'll end up smiling at the end fingers crossed now, the next one we have, now this one I'm really excited about. Not that I'm not excited about the others, but I have never read a um, Peter Pan retelling. So this one, when I saw it and I was like, ooh, 
I, I love you know the Cinderella retellings and the Beauty and the Beasts this one is a Peter Pan retelling and this is Lost in the Neverwoods now this is five years down the line this still has Wendy and Peter and the brothers but in this one five years later random children start going missing so I don't know if it's going to be an obvious plot to it or if there's going to be twists and turns who knows this is a YA fantasy and this is by Aidan Thomas so fingers crossed on that one um now I know that I'm generally I'll probably find other books to read um as I'm going throughout the month I hope I can get through these because uh, I mean that's six seven eight what about 12 13 14 books on my TBR for April um so, as I said in the, in my last video, it's quite ambitious. I did 13 in March. So, it's achievable, I feel. But that is my part two. Now, if you have any recommendations, uh, obviously we're in spring, summer's coming very quickly. If you have any summer reads recommendations, if you could drop them down below. Um... So like contemporary fiction, romance, anything like that. I don't mind YA, but I'd like to try and get into a bit more romance. Um, that would be fantastic. So thank you for joining me again. And if you could like and subscribe to my channel, I would very much appreciate that. And I hope you're all okay. Take care. Bye bye.